Well, there are different types of brain tumors, and one can be found at the base of the skull. To tell us more about this type is Dr. Todd Vitazzo with Spectrum Health Medical Group. A skull-based tumor is a tumor that originates uh, at the bone around the base of the skull. Um, this can be either the bone around where the orbit and the eyes are, the bone around the uh, nasal cavities, or the bone around the base of the skull where the spinal cord comes up. Skull-based tumors include uh, benign tumors uh, such as acoustic neuromas, other types of neuromas uh, that can grow from other nerves. Uh, a neuroma is basically a, a tumor that's growing from a nerve. Um, so the most common is the acoustic neuroma, which grows from the uh, eighth cranial nerve, but they can grow from the other cranial nerves as well uh, down around the base of the skull. They can grow from the trigeminal nerve uh, and cause facial pain and nerves around the eyes as well. And then other types of tumors that occur in that location include meningiomas, um, pituitary tumors are, would be classified as skull-based tumors, um, and then uh, rarely metastatic tumors, uh, other kind of uncommon tumors are tumors that originate from the blood vessels called glomus jugulari tumors um, or glomus uh, tympanicum tumors. Um, those would be the most common types that we would see. These tumors are uh, surgically, they're hard to access um, because uh, not only is there a lot of brain tissue, but there's a lot of cranial nerves. The cranial nerves are the nerves that come out from the brain tissue and innervate the um, muscles of the face. Um, so hearing, sensory organs, uh, hearing, um, vision, um, facial sensation, facial pain, um, and then you're breathing, you're coughing, gagging, and things like that, so swallowing. So they have a lot of really critical uh, functions, and in many instances, these uh, uh, nerve fibers, which are very small, can be draped over the tumors and limit access to them from conventional surgical approaches. Our, our typical approach is um, a minimally invasive, maximally effective treatment. So uh, in many instances, that may mean complete tumor resection, but in some instances, that may mean a subtotal tumor resection followed by uh, another procedure called stereotactic radiosurgery, where we'll come back and give a very high dose of radiation to any of the tumor that's left behind. The goal with the surgery is to get the mass down, get the pressure off the surrounding structures, uh, off the brain stem, and then if there's any tumor left behind to go ahead and treat that with radiosurgery, which is a focused dose of radiation that delivers radiation only where we want it and spares the surrounding brain tissue from the, the side effects of the radiation um, and has maximal effectiveness in keeping these tumors from growing long term. The most common symptoms typically are going to be headaches. Um, other symptoms include hearing loss, um, balance problems, ringing in the ears. Um, some people will have difficulty uh, walking. They'll be unsteady on their feet. Um, dizziness is also a, a very common symptom. Other common, less common symptoms would be facial pain, facial numbness, and things like that, or double vision, blurred vision. A combination of uh, endoscopic procedures where we go in with uh, endoscopes, which are long tubes with cameras and lights on them, and can uh, access uh, tumors in many locations uh, via that approach. Or there are more conventional open surgeries where we'll go in and take uh, part of the skull off and uh, either move part of the brain or the way uh, to get access to the tumor. The, the basis of all of these approaches is really to try to maximize the bone resection and minimize manipulation of the brain and the neural structures to try to decrease the risk of complications associated with these. Endoscopic endonasal is uh, the phrase that we use when we're going through the nasal cavities. We can go through the sinuses, either through the nose, through the mouth, um, through the maxillary sinuses to get access to the anterior part of the skull base. In the back of the head, uh, we're typically going to do more open, conventional type surgical procedures, but we're going to maximize, once again, bone resection to try to minimize manipulation of the brain. And in those cases, sometimes we'll also put an endoscope in to uh, kind of look around a corner and see something that we may not be able to see in a direct line of sight. Most of them are going to be benign, but uh, there is a fair number of metastatic tumors that will uh, metastasize to this area, and those are typically treated not as aggressively um, because in many instances those patients have more widespread metastatic disease. So in those instances we may do a subtotal resection or just do a biopsy if we don't have a diagnosis, uh, and then maybe treat them with some type of radiotherapy to kind of shrink uh, and control any residual tumor.
Time frame for skull-based tumors really depends on the symptomatology that the patient comes in with. In some instances, the patients will have hydrocephalus, which is an acute buildup of fluid in the brain, and those are more emergent cases. They need to be treated right away. In other instances, um, they're benign, slow-growing tumors. The patient may present with hearing loss that they've had for several years. That's something that the patient has much more time. We typically recommend that those patients come in, see us, get a good evaluation. Many of these cases are going to be done uh, with a neurosurgeon and an ear, nose, and throat surgeon surgeon in conjunction, we kind of get the whole team on board and get the patients evaluated and then kind of move forward in an expeditious fashion. A lot of these patients, once they find out they have a brain tumor, they have a lot of anxiety, so they don't want to wait months. So we do try to get them through the system and uh, get them expedited in terms of getting them treated kind of along their own schedule. Some patients will have things coming up that they want to put surgery off for, and in most instances, that's appropriate to wait. <laughs> All right, well, his office is located at 25 Michigan Street Northeast. You can also touch base by giving them a call at 616-267-7900. Also find them online at shmg.org slash brain-spine-tumor-center.